In this video, I'm going to show you just the basics about the menu uh, and what each button does. The first button in the upper left uh, erases the map and prepares you to make a new map. So I already have a map here. I click that and it just simply clears the map for me. The next button is a refresh button. Anything that you have plotted on the screen can be automatically refreshed by clicking this button. It will clear the map, re-download everything, and display it. Uh, the next two buttons are the probably the most important ones that you're going to need to know about. Uh, the first one lets you uh, select your model, uh, either current conditions, which is what I'm viewing right now, or from the three different computer models that uh, we have available. Once you pick one of these, say you pick the NAM Worf computer model, then the next step is to select your forecast hour. Uh, and then you pick your forecast model. And we'll show you how to uh, go further with that and actually create a map in a uh, another tutorial. Right now I just want to give you a quick rundown of these these buttons. The next two buttons uh, allow you to advance in time, either go back or go into the future. So let's say you're at the 24 hour Namworth forecast. If you push the button that goes to the right, it says move forward in time, that will take you to the 27 hour forecast. Push it again, it'll go to 30 hour forecast. Uh, likewise with the reverse button, it'll go back in time. This button, uh, it says animate map, looks like a time strip, does what you would think. It lets you set up an animation. Next two buttons are for setting up a single layer or multiple layers. If you have a single layer m mode, uh, it'll draw one layer at a time. So when you select a map, it'll draw it. If you select another map, it'll clear the previous map and draw a new one. If you have it in multiple overlay mode, then as you select a map, it'll draw it and you select another map, it'll put that layer right on top of the previous one. This next one is the standard overlay button and that lets you select uh, different backgrounds. And right now you can see I've got the US with counties. Here's where I can turn off counties, change the color of my ocean, put county names on there, put cities on there, set transparency levels, thicknesses, colors of the background, terrain, etc. Next button looks like a arrow pointing up is the full screen mode. When you push this, the whole program, or most of the program, uh, fills your screen with the exception of the very far top here. Here you can, uh, you can still have uh, input into the program panning and zooming, but it's generally designed just to be uh, a display mechanism. You hit escape and that will take you back so that you can use all of the functionality of the program. The next two buttons are for zooming. Uh, the first button lets you draw a box around things. Let go and it zooms in. Draw a box from the lower right to the upper left. Let go and it zooms out. The next button is for smooth zooming. If you click and drag it will zoom in. If you click and drag from the right, I'm sorry, to the lower right to the upper left it will zoom out. The hand icon is uh, pretty self-explanatory. It lets you drag and pan around on the map. The house icon is your home button. Program this button so that it zooms to a home area that you want. I have mine set for the upper Midwest, so when I click that it zooms in the area that I'm most interested in. The next two buttons are zoom buttons as well. They let you zoom in step by step or zoom out based on a, the point that you're already centered on the map. The one that looks like the world zooms to the US view and that takes you out to see the whole US. The next three maps overlay watches and warnings, radar, and satellite. And then we've got a, a calculator button here and what this does is this lets you do several conversions or calculations that are pretty basic but uh, may become useful for you. The last button in the row is the hurricane button and here you can turn on sea surface temperatures and show spaghetti plots which are computer models including the National Hurricane Center to show you where tropical disturbances and hurricanes are expected to go. Then of course we've got the normal menu up here. We have file where you can save an image, exit the program, auto refresh, set current view as home. That's what this home button is for. Uh, if you have uh, an F5 data upgrade account, here is where you would enter your code uh, so that you get your status changed and you get more maps to choose from and more options in the program. The map options lets you select the different colors and constraints that uh, each uh, different map might have. You can also set like the start value and end value so that you have specific constraints on the contours. Then the locate button lets you uh, find an actual location on the map. Server mode lets you select 
set up uh, specific maps that you want scheduled so that they're created and uploaded or saved to your computer uh, on an automated basis. And then of course in the help we have different help options including contacting us, checking for updates, and going to the user forum.